Hello friends, good evening to all of you. Welcome to Inside Saigon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about topic that is Mercenary Spyware Alert. This is the name of the topic. In this particular video, learning outcomes are first the context, then we will discuss about the difference between the spyware and malware, what is this mercenary spyware attack, Pegasus and what is the meaning of zero exploit and of course at the end of the video we will discuss about how these kind of cyber attacks will affect our Indian democracy and which agency is responsible to deal these kind of issues. Okay, That we will discuss at the end of this video. Now first let us see the syllabus mapping as well. It is related to GS paper 3 internal security. Then the context of this topic. The context is recently Apple company they informed their users that their iPhones might be under attack by a type of spyware known as mercenary spyware including the one called Pegasus as well. This kind of attacks I mean this kind of warning messages even previously given by Apple in 2023 also to certain politicians from different parties in India. At that time company suggested there is a possible state sponsored spyware attack and without naming a particular sp specific attacker's name. Okay? So this is the context. Now first we we'll try to understand various types of terminology related to this kind of cyber attacks. You know nowadays the world is interconnected and we are using quite a lot of digital devices. So the information is wealth and majority of the information is stored in the digital devices. So the cyber attacks are getting significance. In the point of this first we will try to understand what are the different types of attacks. Okay? There are based on the objective and based on the damage and based on the purpose. So we can classify cyber attacks into different types such as ransomware. Ransomware are the ones which attacks your digital device and they demand money to unlock your device. Such type of attacks are known as a ransomware attacks. Then spyware, second one is spyware. The name itself is saying they spy on you, your movement and to whom you are speaking to and what kind of work you are doing. So all this will be monitored by using these spywares. Next are the adwares. They spam you with advertisement very randomly without your so involvement. And the worms. They spread from one computer to another computer or one digital device to another digital device. And the Trojans, they sneak malware into your PC. It may be due to your clicking or it may be without your involvement also. If any malware is in, downloaded in your device without your involvement that is known as zero click malware or zero click. So I mean spyware or whatever it may be. Then botnets. They turn your PC into be, to behave in an abnormal way. They are known as botnets. So these are the different types of malwares. Okay. Recently, in the recent past, in the last year, one malware very popular that was the Pegasus. Actually, any malware, it will attack a particular digital device in various ways. First, it may be due to zero click attack. In the zero click attack, the spyware gets installed without the user acknowledgement that means they don't click on any link simply without their acknowledgement that will be downloaded into the device then malicious link it is about the earlier version of the pegasus here the user they'll intentionally or unintentionally they'll click on the malicious links they will receive so from that this particular malware will be downloaded the other one is the wireless transmitter so this one is even recently American diplomats are claiming that Russia might might be they, they are attacking their diplomats through this wireless transmitter. So here this one the malware will be attached I mean installed into the device through wireless transmitter then manual manually installing into the phone. So these are the various types how a malware introduced into particular digital device then what kind of activities will be super this you know like surveillance by malware generally spyware it uh, controls it try to get information from various applications and files it tracks the camera it will turn on the camera and record a video and take photos as well it records the screens and of course some malware even they record the keystrokes as well so that what type of message you are typing that also will get to know and the microphone 
so that they record the audio and conversations and everything and even they will access the location as well. That means the spyware it, it spy on all your activities okay it may be the audio video and your location based information they can be they can be accessed so this is how dangerous the this malware works of course here you have to you have to know that this malwares they are, are spywares if they are sponsored by the state then that is really killer to the democracy because by using this malware sometimes the government may they, they may silence the dissent the activists Sometimes they may, spy, they may spy on the opponent party leaders as well. So it is completely against the democracy. And even it is right against the individual's privacy also. So tell me guys, in which judgment Supreme Court given the right to privacy as a fundamental right? Now let's see. The spyware or malware, there are different types already I explained to you. Spyware, they specifically focuses on spying on users' activities, such as their browsing habits, keystrokes and they may get data they, it may be for the advertisement purpose or it may related to identity theft malware they introduce harmful programs into your digital device such as virus worms and ransomware and they may disrupt the normal activity of your device mercenary spyware attacks these are the highly complex one and because they have a very short lifespan and they prevent and due to their substantial investment in, in terms of their efforts so they are very difficult to track and difficult to detect and difficult to prevent as well especially due to their short lifespan and they are the most sophisticated digital threats as well what is the aim these mercenary spyware generally designed to remotely infiltrate and compromise the smartphone and other devices without the knowledge of the users so we can say this as a zero click it works based on the zero click methods it monitors the movements and communications and steals the private data as well there are certain companies which produce these mercenary spyware softwares such as nso group they sell pegasus spyware fin fisher and hacking team these are certain companies which produce various types of the malwares and pegasus spyware regarding this we already discussed and this nso group is based on israel the company is claiming that they sell such kind of software only to the government authorities. Okay. Zero click exploit, it refers to malicious software installing into device without the device owner's consent. And here we have to understand there is one special type of terminology that is the specific exploit in the malware, the cyber attacks. What is the specific exploit in the cyber attack? Specific exploit is all about first here the attacker they will initiate a particular device okay they will initiate the targeted attack on a particular device either through sending an email or any kind of things so one device will be attacked that particular device will be set to compromised and from that device by using that device okay so they try to use they try to infiltrate the network from the network they will try to get the information they are looking for so this is known as targeted cyber attack and also known as specific exploit in this two steps will be involved first step is identifying the vulnerabilities in a particular targeted device and using the targeted device they may not immediately use the targeted device they may keep the targeted device under under their radar they may use the targeted device whenever they would like to infiltrate the network so this is the two level based attack generally known as the specific exploit specific exploit okay next so how this kind of cyber attacks are dangerous to democracy they undermine the trust of elections because they manipulate the public opinion and public may feel that okay they may lose the credibility in the elections as well and they silence the dissenting dissenting the voice of the journalists and activities surveillance on political opponents and it also violates the privacy as well in the light of the supreme court recent judgments as you know like privacy is a one of the fundamental rights next in india any company or any individual if they suffer to cyber attack then the agency which responds is the 
set in it stands for indian computer emergency response team it is a nodal agency as an aspirant you have to know it works under which ministry and it is guided by which legislation it works under the ministry of electronics and information technology it formed in 2004 and it works under the guidelines of it act 2000 next according to certain suggestions how to avoid the cyber attacks cyber attacks can be avoided through various preventive measures such as maintaining the regular offline data so that your offline data will not be accessed by the any hacker and regularly changing the passwords and setting the strong and unique password to different different devices and multi factor authentication like two level or three level or otp based separate administrative network having administrative network and personal network maintain two separate one and firewall host based firewall disabling the remote disconnections and the spam proof email validation system and antivirus software should be updated so these are the some of the uh, preventive measures recommended by the certain yesterday's video question which of the following is the state animal of the andaman nicobar island the answer is dugong now let's see today's video question okay in today's video question the question is consider the following statement akira a type of ransomware is found to target both windows and linux devices second one ransomware is a type of software designed to protect computer systems from security threats and keep data secure so pick the right code my question digital india requires strong focus on cyber security of course discuss the challenges faced by cyber security and suggest a way to increase the cyber expertise in india this is a main question related to cyber security as we reach to the end of this video let us revise in this particular video we mainly discussed about apple company giving warning to its users in india and we also discussed about various types of the cyber attacks and previously pegasus or in fact any malware what kind of data it try to get from the user and what is the meaning of the specific exploitation in the cyber cyber attack language and how to avoid the cyber attacks and the agency the nodal agency which deals with the cyber attacks okay and how it will threat to the democracy these are the topics we discussed in this video i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind